This is just a short video to show how you can download data from our library. So this is a, a, the library page and uh, one of the options is databases. So you click on that. If you want country data, it's EIU. If you want um, company data, it's OSIRIS. We want country data, so that's EIU, so we click on that. We link to the database, and here we are. To select data, we click on Start a New Selection, and we need to select Country, so we can use the slider down here. And uh, it was very inconvenient trying to get to the UK. And uh, if we go down, we find United Kingdom and I want the United States. So we've selected our countries. You can do regions and regional aggregates if you want. Indicators. I want the stock market index. So financial and monetary indicators. I happen to know they're in the financial indicator and this is a stock market index. So we click on that. So we've got our two countries, indicators, the years. We want as much data as it has. So it goes off into the future for some reason, but don't take any notice of that. We want to view the data. Here it is. And now we want to export it. But before we export it, there are some options here. I happen to want the data to be monthly. And do I want the most recent data on the left or the right? Um, I think I will have it uh, on the left. Just to have a change. So we now have the most recent data here. And as we move to the right, we've got the past data. Now I'm going to export it. And hopefully it will export. Usually it doesn't take too long. Sometimes it comes up with a, a delay message, in which case you can usually click to download it almost immediately and it will download. Those messages are, own, are very temporary in this particular system. I've downloaded it. Here's the data. Our only problem now is that it's presented it in horizontal format. And uh, for Excel and uh, Minitab, we want it in a vertical format. So we click Enable Editing. And uh, we now want to convert it. So I create a spreadsheet, a worksheet rather, and then block the data. So, Control C, go to the sheet, and then paste, paste special values, transpose. There we have it. Want the US data? We do exactly the same thing. Control C. Paste, paste special values, transpose, like that. Now we want to convert it, uh, put it into Minitab. So we would have date here and stock market index there. And we can now 
paste this data, quite a lot of it, into Minitab. Oh, we're getting down to the NAs, obviously. Uh, we don't want those. So when did it start? Oh, here we are. January 93. So Control C. You then want to open up Minitab. Just have a quick look. Minitab should be on your uh, desktop. If it's not, have uh, go to e Application Explorer and see if it uh, can be downloaded. That is if you're on the university system. Uh, you can download it onto your personal laptops. I believe that is a facility that is now available. I've done that and uh, I can open up Minitab. We'll just uh, go to a new a new uh, new project. Okay, so we're now in Minitab. Uh, we've got our data and now we're going to paste it like that. Now there's a little quirk here in that it, it where it sees look it looks at the first uh, variable and decides whether or not it is text or numeric. It doesn't look at the other. So it looked at NA and saw that it was text. So we want to convert that to numeric. We're not too concerned about that. It's also seen that as um, a text for some reason, and we want that as numeric. So to convert that, we go to data, change data type, stock market index, select, and then it, uh, hmm, we're in reading row one, let right, me just cancel that. It's reading it now as a number, and uh, I think we can do the same with the other one, actually. Uh, and change data type, we we'll click on that, take the C1, uh, and select that. And now that is also numeric. Having done that, we could now uh, process it in whatever way we want. You will often find, however, that you need to analyze uh, this data a little bit in Excel before taking it into Minitab. You can analyze the data in Minitab. You know, in this case, you'd want the percentage change. I'm sure it's, it is possible to do it in Minitab. Why bother when you can do it more easily in Excel? So it is better to do it in Excel when all the data, all the variables you want are ready, then cut and paste it into Minitab and then go straight to the analysis buttons up here. Right, so that is our brief look at how to get data from the university databases into Excel and then from Excel into Minitab.